spline networks follow a few simple rules. First, the spline network is a single object that has multiple subsplines. The subsplines are independent, and that means that their vertices are fused but not welded. Also, the spline segments should define three or four sided regions because ultimately we're going to have tri patches or quad patches covering up the surface. So let me go to the vertex level here and you can see the vertices on the screen. I'll use the create line tool and I'll switch to 3D snap and I'll use vertex mode. In this case, if I wanted to make a surface out of this spline, I'd have to create new subsplines with the idea of enclosing three or four sided regions. Here I've enclosed a four sided region. It's really just a matter of connecting the dots. I'll sketch in these lines and look over here. Let's go to the segment level and see what we have. I have one, two, three, four, five segments enclosing this region. So this is not going to work. I need an additional line over here. to subdivide that region into a smaller one. Now, if we go and check this out, we'll see that we have three segments. One, two, three. This one has four. This one has four, four, and four. So this is going to work for us. I'll go to the top level and go into perspective. Zoom in, turn off the grid. So we'll take this leg object, which is a line, and we will assign the edit patch modifier to that line. And automatically we see a surface. This is happening because I have generate surface checked down here. You might need to adjust the threshold value if you don't see a surface but it looks like one inch is working for me. If it's black, you may need to flip normals so that you can see the surface.